McLung here. Boats for women! Nellie McLung, wife, mother, teacher, author, feminist, crusader for justice. These are just some of the words that may be used to describe Nellie McLung. She was born on October 20th, 1873 in Chatsworth, Ontario, the same year that American suffragist Susan B. Anthony was tried and found guilty for attempting to vote. In 1880, her family moved to Manitoba. At the age of 10, and not yet able to read, Nellie McLung attended school for the first time. Just seven years later, she would attend the normal school in Winnipeg, obtain her professional certificate, and begin teaching at the Hazel School in Manitou. While in Manitou, she attended her first political meeting, after which she wrote in her diary, I do not want to be a reformer in such an adult meeting where the air is dead and stale and everyone is wondering what I came for. McLong married in 1896 and had five children. She gave her first public speech at a meeting of the WCTU, the Women's Christian Temperance Union Convention in Manitou in 1907. In 1908, she published the first of 16 books, Sowing Seeds in Danny, which would become a national bestseller. In 1911, the McLungs moved to Winnipeg. In December of that year, Emily Pankhurst, founder of the Militant Suffrage Group, the British Women's Social and Political Union, spoke at a meeting of the Canadian Press Club and in McClung's words, created a profound impression. In 1912, she and 14 other women formed the Political Equality League. As she stated, they would train public speakers and proceed to arouse public sentiment. We would be ready for the next election. We had all the courage of youth. Anything we lacked in knowledge, we made up in enthusiasm. In her autobiography, The Stream Runs Fast, McClung recounts how she approached the premier at the time, Sir Rodman Roblin to encourage him to allow her to speak to the cabinet about allowing women the vote. After brushing her aside, she recalls him saying, I think you're a rather conceited young woman who has perhaps had some success at Friday afternoon entertainments at country schoolhouses, and so are laboring under the delusion that you have the gift of oratory. Despite this, and countless other derogatory references over the years, McLung soldiered on. In January 1914, the Political Equality League hatched a plan to send a delegation to the Manitoba Legislative Assembly to ask for the vote. Expecting a negative response, the next day they planned to put on a play called The Woman's Parliament, in which they would create a satire of the event with McClung's herself playing Sir Rodman Roblin. The event was hugely successful and McClung received rave reviews for her performance. McClung would go on to become an elected member of the legislature in Alberta in 1921.